And in Denmark, tens of thousands came together to mourn for the victims of the weekend's twin terror attacks. Around 40,000 people flocked to vigils across Copenhagen. Flowers were laid and candles lit in the colors of a nation that provides pride to self rather on its safety record. Denmark's prime minister pledged to remain strong and not be intimidated by extremist attacks on free speech and other liberties. As for the latest on the gunmen, he is identified by local media as 22-year-old Omar El Hussein. Authorities believe he may have been radicalized while he was in prison for a violent knife attack. El Hussein was born and raised in Denmark and is not believed to be a part of a wider terrorist group.